My name is Alan Nero. I'm a Brooklyn College student in the TV, radio, and emerging medias department. Uh, and I am a screenwriter, director, and uh, starting to cut my teeth on being a cinematographer. I was born and, and grew up in a town called uh, Winston, Connecticut, where I actually am right now uh, because of the pandemic. This is a tiny little mountain town in the northwest corner of Connecticut with uh, roughly about 7,000 people. So it's, it's pretty small. Growing up here, everybody knew everybody. And you really had to find a way to entertain yourself. Gilson was originally the Strand Theater, uh, which was an old vaudevillian uh, dramatic theater with a group with stage and, and rigging everything. Uh, my dad ended up convincing the bank to take them loan back in the 1980s, and with the help of family and friends, he renovated the entire space. So he was able to turn it into a cafe and cinema. You can have a full meal, you have servers that will come and bring drinks. Uh, and that could be anything from popcorn and candy to uh, a full dinner while you're watching the movie. My dad's always been a hard worker. Um, he's run this place by himself for, like I said, almost 40 years. You know, he'd be up at six in the morning and he would work straight through the day until about 10 o'clock at night. When I was 11 and I first started working here was when I really got to spend more time with him. Uh, he, you know, he showed me how to do everything in this place so that by the time I was 16, uh, when he got actually pretty ill, for he was in the hospital for almost uh, a month, I was able to run the place. If anything, uh, actually working here at a young age, I think strengthened our relationship. The latest short film that I've put out is called Co-Video, which is, uh, it was a bit tongue in cheek, but it's about uh, actually my, myself and my, my father trying to, to find a way to get people to laugh and get people to smile in the middle of the, the COVID pandemic. Um, my wife and I are big fans of the Gilson and we're just talking about um, the theater. We'd hate to see it um, close or worse fall into the hands of somebody like Apple Cinema during hard times like we're going through now. And wanted to let you know, um, we're supportive and... Want to use the marquee again? When the, the lockdowns were first announced, uh, his, his business was forced to shut down. And as a theater, uh, he actually has an old marquee. So it's all metal letters on racks with a, with a light behind it that you can, you know, put up whatever you want to. So we started to create a, a list of different movie titles that could be, you know, making some kind of joke, whether it's uh, satire, sarcasm, tongue in cheek humor about new developments in the pandemic and how it's being handled and, and how people were responding to it just overall throughout the country. Clock watchers, panic room, your friends and neighbors, screw. <laughs> That's pretty good. It actually ended up being pretty well received. Uh, we started to get phone calls in from people that would be walking by or driving by, uh, just trying to tell us how much uh, it, it meant to them that they got a chance to smile and laugh in the middle of what is probably the greatest tragedy I think that we've seen in the last century. I just wanted to give a call and say how delightful um, it is to see the uh, marquee change each week. I just want to thank you for making us smile when you put those movies up on the marquee, like Home Alone and 
a series of unfortunate events. Every week, I look forward to seeing what the new marquee will say, and uh, I get a little bit of a smile and a look. In particular, the mask is making me laugh out loud. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's reached out to you. I think it's wonderful to have this in our town. <laughs> I can't wait to see what the next showing is. Take care. It made me laugh out loud. Thanks. All right. Well, thank you so much. Have a good day. We love it. Thank you so much.